All right, so I'm actually really excited to share with you what I just received for the Model Y. It's something that a lot of you have talked about and some of you have been wondering why it's not included from the factory, but it's a cargo cover, like a security cargo cover that'll hide your belongings in the back of the car. Now the windows are very well tinted, but you can still see in there, especially if you have something white back there, they're not, you know, it's not a, it's not a tint that's gonna block absolutely everything. So if you're concerned about security, there's finally some kits out there and I found one that's not just a standard kit. It's actually the easiest install of probably any accessory I've ever done. So easy to do and I'm really excited to show it to you. It takes like five minutes to install. There's also going to be the question, will it work for the five passenger only or will it also work for the seven passenger? And I'm gonna show you because it can work for both. It will require a slight modification on one piece but I'll show you where and how to do that for a seven passenger. So let's get this thing unwrapped and put in so you can see how it works. I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallet offers premium wallet designs with an aluminum chassis with options of wood, leather, and carbon fiber finishes. Grab the cards you need with a quick flip of the lever, RFID and NFC protection are built in, ensuring a safe and secure alternative to traditional options. Make sure to use code BTG to save 10% on your order. All right, so this thing comes with four brackets and it's for the four corners. And this is why it makes this install so easy and so straightforward. Anybody can do this, super easy install. So check this out. These can only go on one way, both the rear ones and the front ones. So it makes it a little bit easier to figure out where they go. But first thing, look for the opening for these buttons over here. So where this is going to install is right here and you're gonna have to tuck it underneath the molding here. So I'm gonna do that now and show you. Just like that. Okay, so now that that's installed, you still have access to your button. I'm not attaching these permanently because on the back, this is how they're gonna permanently attach. This is adhesive strips right here on, on the back of all of them. Since we are selling this car, I'm not gonna install them and give them away for free. So I'm not planning on giving these away with the car since we sold it. So anyways, let's put on the other pieces and show you how those go on as well. All right. And now you'll see on the back of these, there is a molded piece to accommodate the seat belt. So that's actually gonna just tuck in right there. And I should be able to get it to hold still with the seat. All right, and then for this side. All right, and then finally this last corner right here again. Pull up that molding and tuck it in. And then of course, like I said, once you peel off that tape, this will stick a little bit cleaner than what I'm showing right now, but this will work for showing you how to do this. All right, and then now for the shade itself. Now, here's the thing, this is a little bit snug. So we're gonna put one corner in and then we're just gonna apply some pressure until we can get it stretched just enough. Right, and then there you have it. And what's nice about this versus some of the other options I've seen, instead of having a solid tray here that you'd have to remove if you don't want it, this thing folds away really nice. So that makes this more useful in my opinion. So with that, let's go ahead and close it. And again, my brackets back here are only temporarily on, so it's gonna be a little finicky, but you'll get the idea. 
and then there you have it the whole back is covered how awesome is that and it does come a fair distance and with this nice bend over here it's gonna help with the angle of that window so this is going to add that level of security that some of you are very much looking for in the back of your model y i've seen a lot of people talk about it so there you have it just retract it in place these new pieces will just stay in place back here they won't interfere with anything should be nice to have like i promised let's go ahead and fit it in the back of the seven passenger just to show you it also works over there all right and then there you have it this is the seven passenger obviously fits perfectly in here as a matter of fact it fits a little less snug in here so it's a little bit easier to get in and out which is really nice so these pieces this one fits perfect no issue forms perfectly to that side this is the side that you're going to have to address on the seven passenger because this because this as you can see it just comes in a little bit too much now it's shaped for it but that may need to be trimmed down just a smidge actually no that doesn't that actually does fit really well so i take that back this does fit the seven passenger really well my guess is there's been some minor changes i know in the seven passenger this whole section back here these plastic pieces are a little bit different but it could also be a little bit different on the five passenger that's made today versus the first production run so maybe it doesn't fit quite as snug in the newer five passenger as mine and then there you have it i think that this is a really solid execution on getting a cover back there that's not so permanent but also that allows you the flexibility of being able to fold it away when you don't need it and pull it out when you do need it so i think that this was brilliant how they came up with the way that this one goes together five minutes that's how long it takes to install this thing so again i'm not installing it on this car because we sold it so i am not going to be doing that so i hope that you're following us on twitter and instagram because that's generally where i like to do spot giveaways so hint hint i would probably follow us on twitter or instagram and see about what's going on there so anyways i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did of course give it a thumbs up if you haven't already of course subscribe to the channel so we continue to post content regularly you can follow us on twitter and instagram at bearded tesla thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time